Right, welcome back. You're watching The Agenda. So Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lesufi earlier announced the provincial deployment of the 6,000 crime prevention warders. Our reporter Mbalentlim Tetwa is on standby to speak to us now. Mbali, thank you so much for your time this hour on the program. So we do, of course, know that crime in Gauteng continues to surge. But the big question is, are these warders going to be able to be in our communities 24-7? Well, certainly, it seems as though there is a plan to ensure that there are more boots on the ground. Now, yesterday, we went to one of the areas that is listed as a hot spot, and this is according to crime statistics that were released by the Provincial Commissioner, Elias Mawela, who is speaking right now to the wardens and just um, urging them to uphold the law and also uh, to stay away from uh, the culture of accepting bribes and ensuring that they uphold um, their responsibilities and rather carry out their responsibilities with integrity and ensure that residents and community members are protected. Now, the first time we heard about this uh, crime busting unit uh, was during the state of the province address. This was Gauteng Premier Banyaza Lesufi's maiden uh, state of the province address where he announced that there will be around 6,000 well, officers, wardens that we see uh, being um, inducted here today and who are going to then be deployed to various wards in and around Gauteng. We understand that they will be deployed in townships as well as informal settlements. Now, you know that the issue with regards to informal settlements, they are usually densely populated and right next to each other. And in order to assist law enforcement uh, to rather to be able to catch criminals in the act of the crime, they will be using drones. Now, you remember that uh, we first heard about the use of drones as well as face recognition uh, cameras. We understand that those will then be, uh, be installed uh, at the end of uh, May. The, uh, and we understand that the two drones will assist um, with regards to catching criminals, uh, particularly in those densely populated spaces. We've also heard that police stations are going to receive 200 uh, police vehicles, and this is to ensure that no police station is left without um, a police van in the event that there is a call out. One of the complaints that came from residents in Tembisa yesterday where we were, uh, which is also a crime hotspot, um, residents complained about the fact that the police take forever to respond to incidents of crime that are then reported to uh, police stations and at various police stations. We've heard Gauteng Premier Panyaza Lufsufi vowing and committing uh, to the fact that no police station will be left without sufficient uh, vehicles to respond uh, to such issues. And also that each and every ward will have a vehicle uh, that will patrol those uh, spaces um, every single day and every hour of the day. We understand that some of the issues pertaining to crime have has led many residents really fearing for their lives. Some of them saying that they even are scared to walk out of their own homes, saying that in the early hours of the morning when they have to go to work, they are targeted by criminals who then rob them of their belongings. And as they're walking in the streets, they say that some of them even use vehicles and point them a point use guns rather point um, sus the, uh, unsuspecting uh, residents with guns and ask them to hand over instruct them to hand over their belongings now these are the situations and the circumstances that many residents find themselves in it remains to be seen if the introduction of these 6,000 uh, wardens uh, will be able to assist in in the fight against crime and will assist in terms of augmenting law enforcement, the fight against crime and law for the work of law enforcement agencies in the country. We do understand that these are wardens are going to be working hand in hand with law enforcement officials. These include uh, traffic um, authorities in uh, the various um, uh, metros, the Twane um, uh, metropolitan 
Island Police as well as uh, JMPD and EMPD. So they will all be working together and we also heard that residents will also uh, at the end of May will be uh, equipped with a panic button which will uh, then alert uh, the wardens of uh, criminal activity and will then assist law enforcement uh, officials to respond a lot faster and a lot quickly. Now this is what really came out of the address uh, that was delivered here by the Premier Gauteng, Premier Banyaza Lesufi, who was speaking to the residents here saying that uh, the province and the residents of Gauteng are tired of criminals and that they are tired of crime and that they are so proud of this initiative that, you know, um, a mayor, an official from the Free State has actually come forward uh, today to witness what is happening here uh, with the intention of then uh, going and doing the same thing in the Free State. We also understand that there are uh, police officials also uh, from as far as Swaziland who are also here to witness what is happening here with the intention of replicating this initiative. We heard the uh, Deputy Minister of Police also uh, talking and speaking about the need for a collaborative effort uh, between national police as well as various provinces to ensure that the work of the police is strengthened and that uh, criminals have nowhere to hide and that criminals are uh, really just um, are caught in their tracks and are also um, brought to book. From me, Mbalent Lemtetwa, it's back to you in studio. Right, Mbalent Lemtetwa, thank you very much indeed for that comprehensive update.